Hey folks, I'm HP and today I'm going to talk about uh, the clean ballad tone <laughs> uh, in lead guitar. So what's that? <laughs> Whenever you want to play a nice and uh, soft uh, clean guitar solo, that's what you need to know. Let's give an example and let's see what I mean. Yeah, and so on. So now let's check out how it works and what the tricks are behind this. All right, let's first check out the scale which is used. If the ballad or the soft song is in major, this is my preferred position to play a solo in a major tune. So this one is in F major, so I prefer this one here. Here we have the F. This is my preferred position. You also can use um, this position up here, which also works. So this is F. It's pretty similar to the pentatonic position. If you play minor pentatonics, um, <coughs> this will be the D minor pentatonics, but add, as playing it in F, we have the root note here. And so this is the F major pentatonics, but it's embed in the F major pentatonic, so this is the F major scale. See, so that was the F major scale. But we're going to see the difference between this upper position and the lower position. It's, um, for me, pretty big difference. <laughs> so let's see <laughs> what's the why it's like this. <laughs> So, first, um, phrasing and articulation is the main thing uh, playing with a clean tone. Why is that so? If you just play the notes flat and plain without any movement, see? Nothing really happens and there's no emotional impact here. Of course, it's a clean tone with some reverb and a little bit delay on it. But now comes the articulation. If you play any kind of melodic phrase, always the target, I call this the target note, um, the last note of little phrase. So that would be this little phrase here, like this. Oh man, it's so difficult to stay in camera position. This is the target note, the last one here. Today it's very cool or very useful to make any kind of articulation, something like this. Either slide or as like a middle hammer on you attack, but then you just add the hammer on immediately. In this case, if you want to stay in position, then you prefer the slide. Or if you want to move out of position. And that's one of the reasons why you want to move out of position because you want to have a special articulation on a target note. A 
and then you even co could move up in the higher position. Now comes the next, a little phrase. See, now this little phrase works very well. Now here we have, this, this is a method to how to use hammer and pull off. Again, target note highlighted with this articulation. And if you have this little phrase here, if you play it laid back, laid back means not exactly on time, behind the timing, then you have more expression. Gives more emotional impact. So let's see how it works with the track. Especially when you play laid back, you have more emotional impact. Meaning, try to don't be precise on timing, try to play laid back. See? Do it once again, let you see what I mean. Now see what I did with the laid back feeling. Now you expect that the last note, the target note, will come immediately after the run. But you hold it back and then highlight it with the articulation. <clears throat> As now, you, <clears throat> you expect the last note, but it is not coming. And then once again, you play around it. And this way of pulling back... <clears throat> Man, I need some water. So when I'm back, uh, I was really thirsty and I was cleaning my throat so we can go back. So we were playing laid back and highlighting the last note with an articulation. The next thing you can do is work with dynamics. See? I was playing this phrase here. Having here a, a dynamic shift in it, starting loud. And now you have more emotional expression in your lead guitar. And, or if you play a run, like... See, I was playing a little run here and was playing and giving a dynamic shift into it. Start soft. And this is the way you really do it. Um, you really need to practice that to play a note as soft as possible, like, like this. And play it louder. One trick is not to hold the pick very hard. Just hold it loose and then you just attack very soft and you have a very soft tone. The louder tone gets the more you hold your pick and at the end it's really loud. So, so if you play the run you start soft, hold the pick a little bit soft and when you get louder hold it harder and tighter and go back to loosen it up when you play softer. See, I can show you here, but you don't really see it. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, that really works and is very nice. Very good method. What also is very nice, very, I really love reverse bandings on clean tone. Um, on distortion, I don't really like them too much, but on clean soloing, it's another thing to highlight a note like. But basically, whole tone bandings. I made half tone bending here, made the release, it doesn't really sound nice. See, it sounds like a dying mosquito. <laughs> But this, or, or, the, or the higher position also is cool for that. Yeah. Now comes the next trick, switching positions. If you want to have a more emotional expression on slow um, solo position, I prefer the low position. Why? Because the strings sound different here. And here you hear difference. Do you hear the difference? It's For me it's a pretty big, big difference. Tone is a little bit fatter and a little bit more solid. Here it's more um, more uh, vuln vulnerable. <laughs> this is a way how you connect emotional impacts of tone to your playing. Here it's more soft and vulnerable, and here it's more solid. Maybe this is the woman talking. Here's the man. And this is the difference between the two positions. Maybe for some of you this sounds like nonsense, but this is the way you really make meaning to each note you're playing. So, low position. Very good method to switch positions. A uh, really wonderful method to create tension is make runs. With a different outcome. <laughs> so this is the little run here. And this is the outcome note or the last note. Then you make the same run again but now a different note. Then move it up. Oh, sorry. And then the more you pull back the timing on this phrase here, the more emotional it gets. Maybe here. How I really pulled out the tension and like pulled it back and released it later than expected. And you don't even need to play the same run all the time below. You can also skip notes because you expect the next note when you 
when you when you make this motion always going up one step then you expect as a listener the next note see now i make something different in the low position but you still expect the same thing and that's why you don't really notice that uh, something different was played You can also make the same thing when you go down. So like then like just move it down is also a very nice method. And the rest of it is just a really feel the tone and play it soft and smooth and that really makes the big difference on a clean lead solo. Yo, I hope you could follow my findings, which I found uh, during tons of weddings, which I played when I was younger as a uh, <laughs> needed to uh, earn some money. I played many, many weddings, wedding gigs, and there I really learned <laughs> like on thousands or hundreds of evenings, which I played um, what really makes a difference between make it emotional, make it nice. It's, you don't need to play too much. <laughs> And that really makes a difference. So putting all together... and so on so now here's the little um, I would say the competition where was the wrong note in this solo the one who finds it wins a guitar <laughs> a small one <laughs> there was one pretty wrong note I mean it's I mean it's like a sauna in here you know Finnish people that live in saunas and it's summer outside and it's really I'm sweating like an idiot it's totally hot in here so uh, that's why I need to stop now. I really cannot concentrate anymore. Because <laughs> otherwise I'm, I'm dead. It's so hot in here. Yeah, so, but I still hope uh, you could follow my findings here and enjoy this little tutorial. And for those in emotional moments, you want to express your deep emotions to somebody, this would be the the thing to learn and to go for it. It's very good for a proposal, by the way, if we're talking about weddings. <laughs> yeah, good. So, me and Dr. Pink are signing off. Yeah.